What's happening, my curious bunch of health fanatics? Welcome back to the channel. Before we dive deep, I ask for one super simple favor, and that is if you enjoy this content, please smash that thumbs up button for me as it's super helpful for the YouTube algorithm, as it basically tells YouTube what content to promote or push down. And for the Google moderators checking this video, I am not selling or promoting any product or service here. I am simply sharing health science news and knowledge. So let's dive in. There is an immune cell, also known as a cytokine, called interleukin-17, that has a vast impact on wrinkles. We are going to explore this and how best to inhibit this cytokine for youthful, radiant skin. So let's get started. So wrinkles are a common concern for many of us as we age, but have you ever wondered what causes them? Well, one significant factor is a molecule called interleukin-17 or IL-17, which plays a crucial role in the aging process. IL-17 is a pro-inflammatory cytokine produced by our immune system. And while it serves an essential purpose in fighting infections and diseases, excessive production of IL-17 can lead to chronic inflammation, which accelerates the aging process and contributes to the formation of wrinkles. A team of scientists from the Institute for Research in Biomedicine based in Barcelona in collaboration with the National Center for Genomic Analysis discovered that IL-17 plays a crucial role in the aging of skin. The team performed single cell RNA sequencing where they found ubiquitous IL-17 expression in mouse skin. And when they blocked IL-17 signaling during aging, the team found a reduction in the pro-inflammatory state of the skin and thus the delaying of age-related skin conditions such as wrinkles. And stay with me here. The inflammatory state of skin from atypical IL-17 signaling impairs homeostatic functions, which usually regulate for healthy skin, as IL-17 interferes with those functions. So blocking IL-17 appears to allow skin to function more vibrantly and youthfully. Now that we understand the role of IL-17 in wrinkles, let's explore some effective ways to inhibit its activity and promote smoother, youthful skin. Well, maintaining a healthy lifestyle is crucial. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, rich in antioxidants, and sufficient sleep can help reduce IL-17 production and combat inflammation. Many skincare products now focus on inhibiting IL-17 to prevent and reduce wrinkles. Look for ingredients like niacinamide, retinol, and a peptide known as high-affinity IL-17A antagonist, which have been shown to inhibit IL-17 production and promote collagen synthesis. Of course, sun protection. Protecting your skin from harmful UV radiation is essential because sun exposure triggers IL-17 production, leading to increased inflammation and accelerated aging. Always use broad spectrum sun cream with adequate SPF. Wear protective clothing and seek shade during peak sun hours. Now, are there any foods you can use to prevent IL-17? Well, you bet there is. Eusolic acid is a great suppressor of IL-17. Foods such as apples, mostly the apple peel, basil and holy basil, bilberries, cranberries, elderflower, peppermint, rosemary, lavender, oregano, thyme, hawthorn, and prunes all contain good levels of eusolic acid. You can also obtain this as a supplement, but I have no human data on how effective absorption would be with supplements. A well-known anti-aging compound called NAD is also shown to downregulate IL-17 among many other cytokines, and this could be part of NAD's powerful anti-aging effect by inhibiting multiple forms of inflammatory cytokines. Personally, I have used NAD precursors for many, many years, as the evidence I see tells me that this little molecule is paramount to anyone's anti-aging toolkit. You'll need a precursor such as NMN or NR, as the NAD molecule itself is too large to pass directly through the cell wall. Another molecule is gallic acid, found in blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, plums, grapes, mango, cashews, Hazelnut, walnut, tea, and even wine is another inhibitor of IL-17. My other recommendation here is curcumin, which is a derivative of turmeric. If you eat curries, you most likely are already getting curcumin, but for those of you that want to supplement, mix your turmeric or curcumin with coconut oil, as turmeric and curcumin are fat soluble and not water soluble. So this will give you better absorption. I have a gram each morning with my tea or coffee, and without the oil, you most likely won't absorb it properly. 
And even though there is a ton of controversy around resveratrol, it was able to downregulate IL-17 in vitro or cells in a dish. However, I have zero human trial data to show, so this is not something I would purchase based on this data as of yet. And finally, gingerol found in ginger also inhibited IL-17. Of course, wrinkles are a natural part of the aging process, but understanding the science behind their formation can empower us to take proactive steps to minimize their appearance. So by inhibiting IL-17 through lifestyle choices, skincare products, and professional treatments, we can significantly reduce wrinkles and maintain healthier, more youthful looking skin. I hope you found this information enlightening and useful for your skincare journey. And remember, I request one simple favor from you, and that is please hit that thumbs up button for me as it greatly helps with the YouTube algorithm. Always chat with your doctor about health data you see online. Don't forget to pick up a copy of my book, The Anti-Aging Toolkit, second edition out now. Fist bump the thumbs up button, fist bump the subscribe button, or face the consequences of your actions. Visit me at www.scienceofaging.life and as always, stay young and stay vibrant.